Hello everyone and welcome back to Precious Now channel. Today's video is all going to be about to the individuals who are interested in planning and executing of computer networks as well as looking into all of the productive execution of network systems. So if you are a person who is interested into all of this uh, from planning to execution of the computer systems or networks, this video will be rightly suited for you because today we are going to know about network engineer and how they are being paid. Now before we get into any of our job role or any of our career in, in, in regards, you should be always well aware enough as to how much am I being paid. So that is the most, uh, that is the most majority or uh, priority based question that we all of us have. So with that note, we have collected all our sources from Payscale so that we can give you a brief idea as to what you are stepping into. With that note, we will be also covering up major other credentials of what is this network engineer would be doing, what are the skills that are essential for you to elevate your career if you are in a mid-level career or if you are even a beginner, you can consider yourself that you can be aware as to what is the role going to give you and what are the responsibilities that you need to fulfill and give back to the organization or the company that you will be soon working for. So with that note, we'll be heading over to the definition part so that you can understand it very clearly. Um, a network engineer is somebody who is considered as a technology professional who would be having all of the necessary skills to plan, implement, oversee all of the computer networks. So a kind of a multitask indeed, isn't it? That support in-house voice, data, video and wireless network services. So major or the credential part of uh, this network engineer is going to be considered as a multitasker in the IT industry because as a he or she would be handling up various other implementations or the procedural aspects of network systems this particular individual would be also credentially influencing as to how the organization would be executing their business objective to the job market so that is how this network engineer would be working so with that note if you want to know what are the skills that are required to become one or if you are already in the role consider these skills to elevate your career so some of them are mentioned here so switches and uh, firewall installations and administration, Cisco networking, you should also be well aware of network management and administration as to how you are rendering the services and then firewall security skills, networking design skills, cloud computing, uh, program language pro problem solving and troubleshooting skills and all of this is considered to be under multitasking skill so the prior role is going to be about inculcating all of these skills and then proceeding with multitasking so eventually you would be working from plan to execution so all of that is or has to be taken care of a network engineer so IT industry has a lot for this person with that note we would be heading over to what does this person actually do no not that just understanding the definition part you should also be well aware as to how this person would be further processing so that you can understand the main criteria as to what are the steps or the parameters that he or she has to undergo network engineers would be designing and implementing network configurations troubleshoot performances and issues all of that and further resolving them and they also carry out network monitoring configure security systems such as firewalls especially so the major thing that they would be working with is through firewalls and then they would be also making sure that all the enabled parameters are fulfilled especially with performance issues uh, carrying out the network uh, stuff monitoring and then configuring the system services and all of that so that has to be taken care of a network engineer itself so how and how you can become one or if you are interested to become one if you want to know more or how to start your career as a network engineer you can consider yourself having into internships you can get into open source projects having the right amount of exposure of skills and doing as much as research as possible that is the personal recommendation that i would be doing so as much as research would give you that exposure where you can easily or can adaptably able to understand as to how you are viewing the job market so with that note these are some of the things that you can consider while starting your career should have fundamental knowledge on operating systems as i've said having much research is very essential 
knowledge of programming language like Python, Perl or C++ or Java and knowledge about security protocols and for the methodologies what are the different patterns that are withheld with it and then processes of the network systems is going to be the prior task or the responsibility that has to be taken up by a network engineer so if you don't know till date i mean at least till now you can consider that these are the main things or the main task or the goals that a network engineer would be fulfilling or would be working upon so now that you have understood as to how the, you can become one, you should also understand simultaneously that what are the job roles that are interlined with this. So many of us might think, okay, this is a job and then we have to just do it on a routine basis. Like you have to plan, execute, plan, execute. Now that's not the thing here because the network engineers usually have their hands everywhere like having grabbing up the planning having up their executions having up their reports their documentation their system services their monitoring services all of that has to be having held up with this network engineer so what are the other job roles we like so job roles in a network engineer are design a better and an efficient network infrastructure for the company so you should be well be aware of the objective and then plan analytical and creative solutions for network related problems for the company. So you should also be well aware as to the working procedure. And then you have to maintain a database for all of the information of the network systems for interested parties like clients, stakeholders, managers and employees. So you should be well aware of the exposure that the company is having. Exposure of the job market of the company so with that you will align yourself in order to execute the network services whilst working for the objective of the company so this is the main outsource of the network engineer so now that you have understood i'm not going to go much into details so this is going to bore you anyways so we are now heading over to the main part of the video which is going to answer your question which is how much are you paid as a network engineer uh, on an average basis in India, they are paid around 3 lakhs 39,000 per annum. Now this can be for a beginner on a mid-level career. Now because uh, if you're not having the right set of skills and also the right amount of exposure in the job market, you cannot elevate yourself. Am I right? Then this is going to be something which is going to be applicable straight to your professional life because from first year, to year 10 you can see how the graph is elevating so this is how if you are having the right amount of skills and implementing them into the market is going to give you this pay and the elevation eventually so as you can see from first year to year 5 there is not much of a growth but eventually from year 5 to year 10 you would be elevating as long as you are implementing the skills and having the right amount of exposure you have understood on an average basis good for you how about we get into how each locations are paying because you can get an idea like whichever location you are belonging you have to always have an idea as to how they are paying you so in mumbai they are paying around two lakhs fifty thousand almost reaching out to the average pace and then in hyderabad three lakhs fifteen thousand a good range of amount crossing out the average and then in bangalore four lakhs sixty thousand as we all know bangalore is considered to be an international marketplace for me and providing ample of opportunities to the individuals and then in uh, pune it's three lakhs thirty eight thousand per annum again a good start off with your career and then in noida it's three lakhs seventy two thousand per annum and we have come to the end of the video so if you have any other suggestions regarding this place them in the comment section so that even others would know about how this network engineer life is going on also if you have any questions for us place them in the comment section and we'll be happy to answer you and uh, do share it with your friends whoever is looking forward to step into the career of a network engineer or any of the job role which is aligned with network engineer in the IT industry so Thank you so much for staying in and tuning in till the end of the video. We'll look forward for more and meet you soon. Thank you so much for watching.